Hey, you all, oh, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south. More specifically, we are in Asheville, North Carolina, and I was originally planning on leaving today, leaving town, traveling to Louisiana for the state fair, but um, I decided I, um, I needed an extra day at home. I was worn out, tired, had not fully recovered, and I was gonna spend an, uh, just an extra day to just recoup a little bit, and I think tomorrow, we're gonna get up and head towards the uh, Louisiana State Fair and then down to Florida after that. But I realized today, today is a special day because as I film this, today is November 1st, meaning we have completely left the uh, Halloween season behind us. Well, not completely. On July 29th, I traveled to Egg Harbor, New Jersey for the grand opening of the flagship store of Spirit Halloween. Got to see all the new stuff the day it came out. But today is November 1st. It's when these stores start to evaporate. So I, I kind of like to go to Spirit on November 1st because the entire store is on sale. Whatever is left lurking in these doors is at uh, discounted prices. You know, these stores pop up quickly. Once, uh, once the Halloween season starts, or even before the Halloween season starts, they stop popping up in these abandoned buildings. I think this used to be a bed, bath, and beyond. But uh, once November 1st hits, they start evaporating. Just as soon as they appeared, they call them Spirit Halloween because they, they haunt the old uh, abandoned businesses, and uh, like a spirit, once Halloween is over, they begin to evaporate. So let's see what's going on inside of Spirit Halloween. You can already see things have begun to be completely dismantled. This is where you'd be greeted by the animatronics. You can see it's been, they've been torn out People buy the display units. They put the display units for sale. You can see all the wires that wired up the animatronics. I don't know what was here. Probably, probably I'm, I'm guessing that the Martian was here with his gun. And you, you come up, you step on the pad, and he does something fun. But, but he is gone. So we go into the crypt here. Let's see all the animatronics gone from in here. They have these name plates that had the different names of the spirit characters on them. Those have been removed. I know a lot of spirit fans like to get their hands on these uh, on these displays and, and the in-store props. Looks like it's been stripped for parts already. <laughs> okay, you can see the cardboard chunks over here. I guess these are part, oh no, no, no. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. These were part of the display. Um, I don't know if these, I guess these are for sale. I don't see price tags on them. I guess you could purchase these and use them in your own uh, Halloween theming at your house. Yeah, you can see over here, another one of the display areas. I think this would have the spider in it. These doors would open. It's a knock if you dare. You'd knock on that. Those doors would pop open and the spider would come out. But the spider is gone. All the other ghouls are gone. See the stacked up cardboard that the animatronics used to be on. Oh wow, look at the mask wall over here. This has been picked pretty clean. Normally this would just be a solid wall of masks. What's this, Digi-Eye skull mask? I don't know if that like has glowing, glowing eyes. I'm sure, I'm sure it's probably burned out from being tested all Halloween season. Let's see what we have left. We have the Halloween 2 mask. And I don't know, it says Halloween 2. The Halloween 1 mask and the Halloween 2 mask were the same mask in the movie. But I think the Halloween 2 mask actually would be dirtier than this. This looks more like the Halloween 1 mask to me, and we, to be completely honest. Still have some Burlap bloody goat masks in stock here. Burlap bloody goat mask. 
when I went and walked around last night um, on Halloween, I know these were very popular, like these purge, purge style masks. It seemed like a lot of the teenagers, basically their costume, they'd buy this mask or buy a similar like purge mask and then they just have like a weapon in their hand, just like usually just like a baseball bat or something with a mask like this on and voila, you're a purge person. Yeah, it's interesting to see, you know, what's what's left when there's a lot of something left. Like, what didn't sell? Seemed like they had a hard time moving severed hands this year. Still have some crime scene tape left. Like, you could use this year round, you know, in case you know there's a a crime that occurs at your home. You could you know set up the tape. You know, the police are on their way, but they'd appreciate it maybe if you set up the crime scene tape uh, before they got there. Also, the body bag, you can use, you know, uh, you know, funeral home could, could buy all these and, uh, and use them for uh, practical reasons. I don't think I've seen this before. This is the vampire door knocker. Oh, that's fun. That's a lot of fun. Are you sure you want to go inside? This place sucks out all your... <laughs> this place sucks. That's, that's pretty funny. That one's burned out. And here's the Chucky Jack in the box. I don't know if this was actually in the movie at any point, but I remember the the original movie poster, Chucky was going to cut his head off like with a pair of clippers. Oh, it makes some uh, Jack in the Box noises. I think it just makes a noise. I don't think it actually pops up or down. It's also a good time of year to buy some strobe lights and fog machines, you know, just so you could have uh, year round raves at your house. Yeah, I was mentioning that the, the Purge costume with a baseball bat and a mask was very popular. And this is probably a safer alternative. These are not real baseball bats. They're thinner. I mean, you could still probably whack someone pretty hard with that, honestly. Honestly, like, you wouldn't want to take that in the face. But probably, probably not as bad as a metal baseball bat. I do like these vintage, these vintage masks. I'm almost tempted maybe to, to purchase one of these it's 12.99 so that would only be like six dollars that's a pretty pretty good deal you have the uh vampire mask i really like the zombie mask but that one's actually got cracks cracks in its mouth a lot of these little dolls left why did no one want demonic dolly <laughs> i actually like that I like how it goes from like a normal baby laugh to completely evil. That's a lot of fun. How about Devilish Desmond? You're my best friend for life. Oh, you're my best friend for life too, Dev. And, and death. It's a little dark, Desmond. This is Eerie Emma Haunted Doll. Okay, she doesn't work. Let's see if this Eerie Emma works. Come on, Eerie Emma. Oh, there she is. Keep your eyes closed. Here's some of these classic spirit zombie babies. It's the one that eats cockroaches there. I have this dilemma um, with the haunted mansion. Um, I love the haunted mansion. I love the haunted mansion stuff, but I'm almost afraid to start like collecting <laughs> haunted mansion uh, things because uh, there's the bus. I'm afraid I won't know where to stop. Like if I dwell into like just collecting on a mansion stuff, I might end up just having too much stuff. I I uh, I just don't know where to end. Does anyone else have that issue where you where you're just like afraid to like start buying stuff because because you don't know where you'll be able to stop? I mean, this is pretty cool. This is the an actual like map of the uh, of the haunted mansion. I don't necessarily know that it would be up these, up, up. I'm just thinking in my head, like when you come in, you come into the parlor, the music hall, the library. See, that seems like that would be on, all on one floor, but you know, this is just, just for fudsy, so it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, completely accurate. Hey, I think the attic and the ballroom are, oh, yeah, you'd be above the, the ballroom, you look down in the ballroom from the attic. So there's some, there's some uh, things in here that are accurate, but uh, 
not 100% accurate what the inside of the Haunted Mansion would look like. It's the Haunted Mansion door knocker. See, this is all so fun. It's all so fun. Like, I really like this wreath. I think that would be fun. But I don't know. It's just like, is this a pathway I want to go down? It's a painting of the Disneyland Haunted Mansion. There's a snow globe with the, uh, the groundskeeper there. Now the light, I guess, just turns the light on. Do you have to, so I guess you have to manually turn it upside down to get the snow. And look at that, the snow is actually like little bats flying around him. So a lot of fun. And it's shaped like a lantern. Yeah, so much fun. Okay, so here's a Hocus Pocus uh, water globe. It's got Binks the cat. But it's got a cool like old uh, like Salem gravestone. This is really cool. But look at this. You push the button and it actually the snow moves itself. This is like this is like a, a snow globe, new new modern snow globe technology where you don't even have to shake it. You just push this button. Oh my gosh, I love this. I'd love to buy this. I'd love to buy a lot of the Haunted Mansion stuff, but uh, I just need to, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to go broke just because it's, just because it's on sale. Over here, some accessories for costumes, like the gentleman pipe, bloody, bloody bandage, and then a face mask, which is actually, I mean, it's actually, it's that face mask. You could, uh, you know, purchase this just to use for uh, for your own personal health. Big wad of fake money there. Could you know, hand these out to trick or treaters? Tell them it's tell them it's real. And if you if, if you like the fake money, look at this. There's a money shooter, a gun that shoots money. Think of all the different situations. I wonder if this money shooter gun. I wonder. If you have to use the fake money here, or if you can load it with actual real money, because that would be uh, that would be really fun. I think you probably have to use the fake money because it's a different size. But I wonder if you can buy a, a real money shooter that shoots real money. Down here, they had these uh, rubber chickens. As I was in other parts of the store, I could hear kids squeezing these rubber chickens because they make this horrendous noise. Oh, that's pleasant. When I was, you know, growing up, when I was a kid, rubber chickens didn't make noise. Now they make the worst noise in the world. Because I used to have like the old style rubber chicken that was like, it looked like a real chicken. It was meant to look like a real dead chicken. It's a little more cartoony here. You got kind of a car happy cartoon face. Still kind of looks like a plucked chicken on the body, but. You know, the main thing is it makes that 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 that, that horrible noise. <laughs> you know, one of the key things about shopping here on November first is you can buy stuff that you know it's not necessarily Halloween exclusive. I mean, they have this flask here. It's uh, you can you can use this flask. You can put liquor in it. You can drink it at work. Drink it uh, drink it in church, so no one no one knows what you're doing seen this costume before. Some of these inflatable costumes, very popular. Make it look like an alien is carrying you around. Also they have the uh, inflatable chicken there. And uh, what's this here? Oh yeah, the inflatable ostrich. So make it look like you're riding an ostrich. Inflatable donkey, you know, back in the day, it took two people to make a donkey suit. You had to have one person walking in the back one person walking in the front, but with the uh, technology of inflation, you just need one person to uh, be a donkey Halloween costume. Again, with year-round stuff, there's a scarecrow hat. You can use that to put on your scarecrow in your field to help uh, help scare crows. You know, I'm sure the police department sends people down to Spirit Halloween on November 1st so they can buy uh, some of these jumpsuits. You can, uh, yeah, you can use those at the jail. Playing games of hockey with your friends. You know, real hockey masks can be really expensive. So come here, get the half off hockey masks here at uh, Spirit, and you can play hockey uh, all winter long. You can go with the undead zombie mask or the rotten zombie mask there. It looks like he's got like a long 
zombie beard. There's a slasher neck. If you put that across your neck to look like someone has slashed you, and if you want to look like a zombie has bitten you, um, you, you can put that. You know, this stuff is fun year round. You should go to work with a big zombie bite on your arm. You know, it's, it's more fun when it's not Halloween because it takes everyone by surprise. Now they do have some uh, animatronics left. They're not plugged in, so you can't test them. This is the guy that he like opens his arms and he's got like a, a woman under his cloak. And uh, it says $300, so I guess half off, that'd be um, 150. Now that's a good price, but um, I don't know. If this is like, I think this is was a display model. So basically you're buying the display model. Um, that box there's empty. So I would be a little cautious just because if this has been on display for the past uh, couple months, um, you know, it's been running all day, people testing it. I, I just don't know if I would trust that to be in a really good working order, um, especially because you cannot, they don't have it hooked up so you can actually test it. So I, I would say, I would, I, if I knew it worked 100%, I would probably buy it but um, I just don't have enough faith that that's not screwed up from running so much. These, you know, these, these are animatronics are fun, but they're not meant, they're not meant to just be used. These aren't, these aren't like haunted house grade uh, animatronics. So a lot of use can, uh, can wear them out. It's little skelly bones here. He would like say like a weird little prayer and then pop up. But similarly, I don't wanna, I don't wanna buy something I cannot, uh, cannot test out first. I also have a leftover Slim. It's his fun, it's like one of the killer clown animatronics. He's got a really fun laugh. But uh, yeah, I wonder if they, why they unplug them. It seems like it'd be, it'd be better to leave them plugged in so that, uh, so that uh, people could test them out before uh, deciding if they wanna buy the floor model. Here's some of the Spirit merch. And it does have the, it's got a, uh, Sam from the uh, Trick or Treat movie on it. It says, let's get smashed, and it has a pumpkin on it. Now, basically basically what they're implying here, like let's get smashed, smashed is like a, uh, a slang term for getting drunk, but also pumpkins get smashed on Halloween because hooligans come and smash them. So it's kind of a, a play off of words. Let's get smashed, as in let's get drunk, but a pumpkin also gets smashed on Halloween by hooligans. So, uh, you know, it, 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 it's a playoff words. This is called the Kicking Clown. Now, it's not a clown, it's, it's clearly a nurse, but uh, let's see if it kicks. Let's see if it can at least live up to half its name. Oh, oh. Is it gonna kick? Are they gonna kick? They're vibrating. No, it's a kicking clown. It is not a clown and it does not kick. Now this is a clown. This is a, okay, this is a kicking clown. I mean, that's a clown, but he, uh, he doesn't kick. There's some live wires. Let's see if they're still live. No, these, these wires have uh, have run out of electricity over the Halloween season. Oh, there we go. There's some live wires. I was always, the electricity in haunted houses always gets me. It's a little milder, but uh, still fun. They don't have a lot of skeletons left. You can have a skeleton in a bag, but I think that's missing. I think that's missing its uh, rib cage. When I went uh, back in July, I picked up a, uh, a snail skeleton just because it was so absurd. Now here you can get a shark skull, but uh, sharks, you know, sharks don't have skulls because shark skulls are, are made of cartilage. So they don't really, uh, they don't really preserve like that. And as far as weapons go, looks like uh, there are plenty of uh, butcher knives left over. It's not enough people uh, dressed up as Michael Myers. Make sure to pick up a jug of blood. You know, you stock up on this for next Halloween. How many jugs of blood do they have? There are 12, 12 jugs of blood left. 
an educational plaque on what types of blood to use. I didn't realize there's so many different types of blood. There's theatrical blood, bloody scab, gel blood, blood capsules, that's for your mouth, and spray blood. So the spray blood like makes your, co your costume look all splattered with blood. What's gel blood for? Thicker consistency that holds its shape and dries in place. That's the blood that will dry. Theatrical blood is a fresh and realistic look. And then a bloody scab, of course, makes it look like you have a uh, bloody scab. Uh, over here in the uh, in the makeup section, we do have oh, do have a uh, pretty cool creature from the Black Lagoon mask there. Says uh, okay, this is normally. Uh, Seventy dollars, so you get half off on that. Thirty-five dollars. That's a good markdown. Oh yeah, here's all the little prosthetics you can attach to your body to make yourself look mutilated. There is some fake vomit there. Um, this is actually useful, you know, trying to get out of school or work. Just show up with a little bit of fake vomit on your face and be like. Oh, on the way here, I vomited. I probably should go home. And they're like, yeah, yeah, please get out of here. Well, they do have a little light up Annabelle from The Conjuring. And look at this. It's a spell book. And this is real. This is some real witchcraft here at Spirit. Health and healing spells. Where are the, uh, where is the, uh, Oh, to keep pregnancy stable and help it run full term. Okay, so yeah, that's useful to uh, come to Spirit Halloween and buy a magic spell book that uh, will help your pregnancy. Spells for children, power animal protection for older t older children and teenagers with problems at school or home. Power animal protection. What? Like like you make like a magic animal to to protect them. Is there like is there like bad magic in here like how to like how to like kill people when friendships go wrong uh oh oh to deter a gossipy neighbor oh no how do you do that there's a spell in here that helps you counter terrorism it says whenever you must uh whenever there's a terrorist threat or attack you must travel to a dangerous region so what do you need? So how does this work? You need a map of the world, set flat on a table, a small tree fragment, fragrance, incense stick, and a small red candle. Create the ritual to, to, to stop, uh, stop a terrorist attack. Oh, here's a section on world peace. Uh, okay, a candle web for world peace. You can actually come to Spirit, buy this book, and create world peace. Okay, so there is, this is an unopened, black heart so yeah you can get the black heart for 150 um some reason this must not have been a very popular animatronic this year because most of the others are sold out and they actually do have a slim is this a slim in the box yeah they do have they do have a few in the box this looks yeah this is new so that would be this would be 200 for this one it was normally 400 so yeah you can pick up a few animatronics you just just don't necessarily have a very wide uh, selection. All right, let's look at the Funkos here. They have uh, the Killer Clowns, Funkos. I was looking at anything Jen would like. Jen has the Jumbo there, the Blacklight Jumbo. But I know she did mention that she wanted this uh, made by robots, handmade by robots, Hannibal Lecter. Uh, she got the handmade by robots Buffalo Bill because they don't make a Funko Buffalo Bill. So this would actually be a good uh, a good match for that. So it's normally 17, so that would put it at, you know, eight, eight and a half. So I think that's a pretty good deal for uh, this little Hannibal Lecter. I think we will make a purchase. Here's the Halloween buckets. They have the blue bucket, or is that, I think that's more of a teal bucket. Now, my understanding is the teal bucket means that the child has nut allergies. The darker blue bucket means the child has autism. Um, I don't know, these are things that people have been trying to uh, can, kind of like create a movement for. I don't know if any of that's really caught on. Um, I think probably the vast majority of people would just think that, uh, just think that they just had a different color bucket. I don't know if the, the bucket color system is really in any way universal or any way understood. 
and plus having a teal bucket for allergies uh, and having a dark blue bucket for autism seems like that would just be those colors are way too close it just seems like the autistic kids would end up uh, end up not getting any nuts oh you can see the final destruction there they're starting to take apart the last pieces of that animatronic castle oh no avalanche <laughs> so as you can see not you know there's a lot of the smaller things left. I do think like the big animatronics and things like that. I think people will show up probably early, probably first thing in the morning to get most of those. You can kind of see what was popular this year. The, uh, what was it, the, the, the dark, the guy, the big, the big skeleton with the big cloak. Seems like he maybe was not as big a hit this year as he could have been. But uh, actually, I know, I know a lot of like the more popular animatronics, they sell out like early in the season. So there's no chance. You have to like show up early in the season to get those. And then I guess in the in the at the end of the season you can pick up some of the less populars. I could have gotten yeah I could have gotten the animatronic for cheap like 150, which is a really good deal. But I kind of thought it over, and um, I do want to get some more animatronics. But I don't. I think it's better animatronics take up a lot of space and a lot of room in your house. So I think it's better to get things that I really want than to just get something because it's cheap. Like 150 is great for that it's, it's a bargain but like it's not it doesn't really speak to me i bought one animatronic this year at home depot the marsh monster when i saw it i knew i had to have it i think that's the feeling you got to get you gotta you're gonna you're gonna drop money on on something that's a little more pricey you gotta kind of it's gotta kind of it's gotta you gotta kind of feel it so um some good deals in there you know some stuff in spirit does tend to run a little pricey so it's still not like remarkably uh, uh, cheap when uh, when they're doing uh, their, their November 1st sale. I did get this. I was happy that I got this. This was, like I said, normally it was six, 17, got it for half price. This is a gift for Jen to match her a Buffalo Bill, um, handmade by robots. But um, I, as I was driving into Asheville here, I noticed that um, there's a there's a big orange tent that we drove past. So I did want to check out Spirit, but I think there's another Halloween store that we could take a peek at. I think it's I think it's open today. They always set up like a big orange tent in the mall parking lot. Let's drive over there and see uh, see if the orange tent's still open. Okay, so this is Halloween Express. They set this big orange tent up every year at the Asheville Mall. And um, I think, I think it's still open today. So uh, let's go peek inside of Halloween Express. See, it's actually locally owned. So a locally owned alternative to uh, Spirit Halloween. So I can actually hear animatronics inside laughing. So uh, I think, I think it's still open today. And this also has 50% uh, off today. Just like Spirit. Oh, there we go. Right into it. Right into the animatronics here. Oh, I like the grave digger there. He just stopped. There he goes. Once we've risen the dead, they're going to raise the roof off this party. Hurry up and start digging. No rest for the wicked. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Look at this maniac here in, uh, in the chair. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Spooky dolls down here. Oh, look at the werewolf. Oh, the big werewolf. <laughs> oh, look at Pumpkin Man there, freaking out. Oh my gosh, all these animatronics freaking out at the same time. Oh, it's a lot of fun. And unlike Spirit, this store seems pretty well stocked. Just a lot of, uh, a lot of stock still here. Doesn't look like picked through like uh, Spirit did. Let's check out this guy back here. Got breaking down some of the animatronic displays back here. The big skeleton guy getting, uh, oh, he's got his head removed. Yeah, it does seem to be a heavy focus 
on costumes here. And um, admittedly, I don't wear Halloween costumes. That's just like a, a thing I, I don't do. And uh, I, I, people ask me why I don't wear Halloween costumes. It's really not like, like I, you know, it's not like I don't like to have fun. It's just, I have uh, certain sensory issues and like Halloween costumes just kind of freak me out. The idea of putting on like um, strange clothes and committing to wearing them all night. It's, it's, it's the whole, you know, the whole neurodivergent thing. It just, uh, just uh, doesn't, uh, doesn't appeal to me. I just, I, I want so bad just to wear my normal clothes. Although I may make an exception for these monster pants. Da, 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 monster pants. Oh, look at those. Those are <laughs> pretty cool monster pants, I must admit. Oh, but they are starting to pack up here. You see everything getting put in boxes to, uh, I don't know, go in storage for the year until uh, till Halloween time of next year. There's their skeleton and doll section. This is the little, little precious haunted doll there. Oh, said you disgust me, jeez. Oh, you can see some of these highly inaccurate uh, skeletons. You know, spiders don't have interior skeletons. They definitely don't have ribs. You know, that's pretty accurate for a mouse. A mouse does have a skeleton. They, their ears, though, are not made of bones. That's, that's, that's where that's, that's the one place that's lacking. And uh, turtles, turtles, I mean, technically, I mean, that may not be entirely inaccurate. I mean, their shells don't have like a separate bone inside. Their shell kind of is a bone. Got some different body parts, bag O fingers there. Some uh, bloody hands, feet. There's a bloody hand wrapped in barbed wire. Up there we have some ghoulish masks. I think they put these up a little higher, probably just so people don't uh, constantly put them on and uh, mess them up. A lot of terrifying vampires up there. A lot of creepy skull faces. Some super, uh, super haunting scarecrows. So this costume up here, if you look at the picture, the diagram, the costume here is that you're riding on the back of Donald Trump. I don't know if that's supposed to be a political statement or if it's just just really weird. Yeah, we got our political masks. You know, every uh, every four years, Halloween gets gets a little more political when it runs right before the uh, the election. I'm not a big fan of mixing uh, mixing Halloween and politics. Halloween's supposed to be fun, after all. I do really like the squid masks. It's a really fun squid mask. And I think that's, is that the Beholder from Dungeons and Dragons? Oh, wow, look at that. So you see a lot of these uh, these burlap faces. Burlap become very popular. But if you look up there, I don't know if I've seen this before. They have the burlap, burlap gorilla there. I think that's a new one. Oh yeah, they got a lot of cool like monkey and gorilla masks. I'd love to see Here's just an idea. I'd love to see a haunted house that's just all apes. Just just an ape themed haunted house. You know, I like the Yeti, the Yeti haunted house at Halloween Horror Nights, but I just want like like chimpanzees and like spider monkeys and gorillas. Just just full on ape madness. Have some more masks here. You got the pug mask. You've got uh, I think that's the cowardly lion down there. A lot of Plague Doctor masks. I don't know, has the Plague Doctor become less or more popular since the pandemic? Are people staying away from it because of, uh, of all the bad vibes? Or are they embracing it just because of, uh, because of it's now more relevant? A good evil bunny haunt. I still haven't been to an Easter themed haunted house. Let's, hopefully I can change that some year. And uh, a scary hamster mask. Are hamsters scary? Leave a comment in the comment section. Oh yeah, these are always interesting. The makeup mask. This is called Transparent Young Man. But really it's just a plastic mask that eyebrows and lipstick on it. There's the Transparent Young Woman. Is that, is that a Salvador Dali? Salvador Dali mask, and uh, of course the ever-popular dress like an 
old man mask. Oh, what's this guy he, here? Is that, is this supposed to, oh, it's cheetah? It says cheetah. Is this supposed to be like cheater because Tiger Woods? Oh yeah, okay, Tiger Woods cheated on his wife and I guess she beat him up? I guess topical? Oh, here's some costumes for people who like to dress up like giant babies. There's the safety pins for your giant diaper. There's a whole section for beards and mustaches. There's just a beard, 100% human hair. So they, that was actually a beard on someone's face at one point that they shaved off. Is this an English man? Mustache, so a, a, a mustache that someone from England would have. And here's a mustache that someone from Ireland would have. I don't know, just the idea of like, Real mustaches and bags. It kind of uh, kind of sketches me out for some reason. Ugh. So I ended up not buying a, a, a whole uh, whole lot of stuff. Like I, I was talking about yesterday, I've accumulated a lot of stuff in the past two years that um, you know for my new house and just the thought of bringing more stuff into that to sort through right now was a little intimidating and um, I don't know I, I don't really like in the past I've not really like decorated for Halloween um, I've not really set up a real display I did buy the I, I have been buying a few things I bought the 12 foot Home Depot skeleton and then uh, the marsh monster animatronic from Home Depot so maybe we're we're, we're headed in the direction of, of, of having a yearly Halloween uh, display which is unfortunate because my house is in a place where we don't really get trick-or-treaters we don't really get um a lot of people driving by uh either so um unfortunately yeah not a not really a good place to to put up a halloween display other than just to enjoy it ourselves i know jen really wants to set something up jen really loves decorating for for the holidays so we'll see uh, maybe next year we'll i'll approach this a little differently maybe next year i'll give myself a little budget to uh, to get some Halloween things once once the house it just seems like the idea of like getting th getting stuff like seasonal decorations when you're in the middle of like setting up a house for the first time just seemed intimidating to me and uh, so I don't know you but yeah like I said you can buy fun stuff like fun stuff uh, Halloween props that you can use you know for other projects throughout the year but like I said I have so much stuff right now that I have to find places for. I didn't really want to go crazy this year, but who knows next year we may go crazy But um, yeah, let me know you guys enjoy the Halloween store visits um, I know uh, I am planning I am planning, you know, it's very early on But I'm hoping to get back to the opening of spirit. I had a lot of fun Going to the the opening day of spirit in New Jersey that might become a yearly tradition on this channel So stay tuned. Let me know what you guys like and um, I think I think now it is safe We can finally put Halloween 2023 to rest. It's been fun. I've had a lot of fun this this Halloween. I've been like, you know, going to the stores, looking at the Halloween decorations, going to the haunts, the different types of haunts, the DIY haunts, the large haunts, the theme park haunts. It's been it's been a crazy Halloween season. So, I'm officially I think I already officially put it behind me in one of these other videos but really for reals now we're gonna put it behind us until next year unless we do a christmas haunt then all bets are off but uh, thank you guys so much for coming along uh, if you like these videos please subscribe i travel around the country i film roadside attractions amusement parks museums haunted houses and other fun random stuff um if you'd like to support the channel consider contributing to patreon three dollars or more I'll get you a postcard once a month from me to you also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop. It's not too late to get your Halloween pins. <laughs> and uh, also doing personalized messages on Cameo. If you'd like to send a message from me, a video message from me, to yourself, to a loved one, to a friend, to a family member, all the information for that is in the description of this video. And of course, all those things. I'll keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Till next time, my friends. This one's in the bag.